Ehsan's brother made a list of his monthly expenditure and savings. Ehsan has learnt about formatting features available in Excel and guides his brother in making the worksheet data neat and presentable as shown. Can you format the worksheet in a similar manner? Open Excel 2013 and select Blank Workbook. Now enter the given data in the worksheet. Now select cells A1 is to B13. Now in the font group of the Home tab, do the following. Click the arrow next to Font and select Times New Roman. Then click the arrow next to Font Size and select 12. Now select the cells A1 is to B1 and click on Merge and Center in the Alignment group of the Home tab. In the Font group of the Home tab, click the Bold button. Now click the arrow next to Fill Color and select Blue Color from the drop-down menu. Now select the cell range A3 is to B3 and click the arrow next to Fill Color and select the color brown. Similarly, select background colors as blue for cell range A5 is to B10 and background color brown for cell range A11 is to B11 and A13 is to B13. Then select the cell range B3 is to B13. Click Accounting Number Format button in the Number group and select More Accounting Formats if you do not find the rupee symbol in the list. Before we move ahead, answer this question. Click on the correct option. The accounting number format allows you to add dash. You will notice that the Format Cells dialog box appears with Accounting option selected under Category. Select Rupees Urdu Pakistan from the Symbol drop-down menu. Click OK to show the numerical values as currency. Now select the cell range A3 is to B3. Click the arrow next to the Borders button in the Font group of the Home tab and select Outside Borders. A border will appear around the cells. Similarly, select the border for the cell ranges A5 is to B10, A11 is to B11 and A13 is to B13. You have formatted the worksheet successfully.